everyone, Christine here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamps 2014 September Card Kit. And I have one of these card kits to give away, so if you'd like to win this card kit, which includes the stamp set, head over to my blog to enter the giveaway there. The stamp set is called To Thine Own Shelf, and I designed this stamp set specifically to be used as a builder stamp set. So I'm going to be doing a lot of stamping today with different colors, and it's going to be a one layer card so that it's very easy to send it through the mail. The first thing I did was score some basil marshmallow cardstock at five and a half inches so that I could have a landscape card with the fold on the side. I took my T-square ruler and drew in some lines that would help to guide me while I do my stamping. I'm going to create some bookshelves and I didn't want them to be crooked at all on the front of the card so I'm using those pencil lines as guides to help me make sure that I stamp everything perfectly straight. I'm using Simon Says Stamp Dark Chocolate ink for this and I'm making sure that everything lines up with those pencil lines as I press down the stamp. I took an eraser and erased those pencil lines so that as I stamp things on top of the shelves it wouldn't trap any of that pencil. And then I'm going to be using a bunch of Hero Arts shadow inks for my books and boxes and frames and plant for this card. I started out with Raspberry Jam ink for the box and then I moved to Pell Tomato, Soft Cantaloupe, Butter Bar and then I used a little bit of that same um, raspberry jam on another book and then I decided to stamp the plant. The plant comes in two pieces. There's the pot and then the leaves. The pot I stamped in pale tomato and the leaves are in butter bar. I then stamped the frame in soft cantaloupe and some other books just to fill out the bookshelf. Then I took the sentiment from the stamp set that says, oh hello there, and stamped that in raspberry jam ink just underneath the bookshelves. And then to space everything off and finish off the bottom portion of the card, I decided that I would do some stamping with a background stamp. And I didn't want the background stamp to stamp over any of that shelf scene that I've created. So I drew a line with my pencil and a T-square ruler to use as a guide and then put on some post-it masking tape just to mask off the top portion of the card. Folded the card so that it was easier to stamp with. And then I took this large 6x6 background stamp from Impression Obsession and inked that up with some Hero Arts Soft Cantaloupe ink and just tapped it on there, made sure it was completely covered. And then I pressed the card front down onto the stamp and I made sure that those lines were at a diagonal. I covered the entire stamping area with some cardstock and that made it easier to press down that card without getting my fingers inky and I was able to rub my hand over all those areas to make sure that I got a really even impression. After I stamped the background stamp I peeled off that masking tape that protected the top portion of the card and then I'm left with this bottom portion of diagonal lines and I think it looks really really neat and pulls the entire card together. I just erased that pencil line. At this point, I'm nearly done with the entire card, but I did want to add some additional details. I took my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and rounded that top right corner with the half inch corner rounder. And I also added some glossy accents over that picture frame just to add a little bit of shine and make sure that that picture stood out even though it is empty. That finishes the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a reminder that the supplies are listed down below and don't forget to go to my blog to enter the giveaway. Thanks for watching today's video. I have three more cards for you to check out and they are all one layer cards. So these cards are also very easy to send through the mail. Click on any of those video images to go watch those videos right now. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. You can also hit that subscribe button in the top corner to be notified whenever I upload a new video. You can visit my blog at kwernerdesign.com and join me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys next time.